Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, so today I'm sharing with you the yarn swap challenge that me and Terry from Yarn Drawer Podcast has been doing. Last week I opened uh, the package and uh, there's three balls of yarn in it and a rattle. And uh, so I had an idea to make a fish is what I was originally going to make. Because I thought the, the colors looked kind of like um, tropical fish colors. But then this week has been crazy. <laughs> um, mostly because of the baby. She's been like super clingy and uh, real grumpy. I don't know if it's like gross spurt or teething or just a mixture of all kinds of things. <laughs> but um, so I didn't really, I haven't done any crochet at all, all week I'm pretty sure, until today. So today I knew it was Friday and I knew I needed to get this video going so that I could open today's package and you know, and get ready for next week. So uh, luckily today was also Devin's first day of like Christmas vacation from work so he's helped me with the kids today so that I could um, crochet so I didn't I didn't think I had enough time to do the fish that I wanted to do so I um, decided to do something similar to a fish I guess I don't I guess it's a fish I don't know <laughs> uh, but uh, it's from the same book because the fish pattern I wanted to do was from Olive of String Ding Ding's book um, Plenty of Fish Under the Sea I believe it's called um, I forgot to bring it in here. It's in the living room. <laughs> but I was going to do the fish on there that's just called fish. And then, uh, because I didn't think I had enough time to make it today. Because it's kind of turned out a bigger amigurumi. Um, and even, I started it. I got the first part of it done. <laughs> and I was just afraid I wasn't going to have enough time between doing house stuff, you know, and life stuff. Um, so I pulled it out. I was even using, I was using more still weight, uh, yarn and a sea hook. Which is a two point something millimeter, two, seven, five, maybe. Um. But I ripped it out and then I went ahead and started this one. So I made the jellyfish from her book. Because I knew from previous experience of making it that it was smaller and that it would come out faster. So I made the jellyfish with uh, the G-hook. Which is, I used a 4mm G-hook. And I did use all three colors. So here's my jellyfish. <laughs> so I used um, the teal color for the body. And the other two colors for the tentacle thingies that jellyfish have. I don't know what they're called. I did do these different though. I did follow all this pattern for this top part. Uh, and there's a, the rattles in there. But for the tentacles, I had seen in other people's videos where they went make jellyfish and stuff. They add like curly cues and the straight lines. And I even seen some where they use like furry yarn in there too mixed in. And it looks really cool. Because you know if you see like jellyfish, they have like weird stuff going on. You know, it's all kinds of different stuff. It's not just one thing. So her pattern has these little things, but they're shorter. So I went ahead and made them. It's just like a chain and then you slip stitch back through it. Um... I made mine longer though and then I went ahead and I made a couple of curly cues. I made two yellow ones and a blue one and I just put them all in there. I, just, I thought that was cute. This will probably be for June because a rattle and um, she likes playing with rattles still. She's almost a year old. Well she's she'll be 11 months on Monday. Um, but I think it's cute. I used safety eyes. I'm not sure what size these were. I have a whole bunch of little white bags of safety eyes. Some I was gifted and some I've gotten out of those little kits to make like amigurumis but then I use different highs or something for them because I usually when I follow those kits I don't use the little tiny yarn I use the bigger yarn. Anyways <laughs> this is one of those sets of eyes but the rattle is in there. It's right down there. I put it in the very bottom. And I think it turned out super cute. So that's my project for this week. <laughs> it's a little jellyfish rattle and this is the yarn that I had left. So this is the blue color. The teal color. I really like this color. I'd like to have a bunch more of this. I don't have a teal that's quite this color. I'm not sure what brand this is. I do have like a red heart teal, but it's darker. But I like this one a lot. And this is all the yellow I had left. <laughs> After making the uh, curly cues and the little other tentacle thingies, I had just this little bit of yarn. <laughs> but I am still going to use this in my scrap stuff. I'm going to keep it because that's a good enough size to get a few stitches out of. Um, but that's the leftover yarn from last week. So now this is the last one. Now I saved the biggest one for last. <laughs> um, so I'll be opening it today, showing it with you guys, and then next Friday I'll be sharing you my project for it, and that'll be the last one. And also check out Terry's channel, Your Enjoy Podcast. I'll link it below uh, to see hers today. It's probably already up. I haven't even been on YouTube <laughs> in days. So I'm so behind on Vlogmas. I haven't made a Vlogmas video since I think the 16th. Maybe 18th. One of those days. It's been like a week. Uh, I did come in on Tuesday and I made a video, but uh, I didn't even make a Whip Wednesday video this week, so I'm behind. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to open this now. 
This is the last one. This has been so fun. I'd like to do something like this again with someone, but for like a Halloween time. I think it'd be fun to do challenge kits. That's Halloween themed. Ooh, this is interesting. Let me dump it out here. I've been saving all these bags too. I'm going to use them in my journal. All right, so first we got the yarn, which is really pretty colors. It is cold in here. Tennessee's getting, like I know a lot of places are, but Tennessee is abnormally cold. These are the yarn colors. This is a pink color. Kind of on my camera, it looks like a buff color. <laughs> it kind of matches my skin. But um, my light is flickering. I don't know if you can see that, but it's flickering. Uh, it's pink color in your life. Those are pretty colors. They're like springy. And then a headband. So I'm going to have to crochet a headband. This is an adult size one, so I can make one for myself. <laughs> hmm. Well, the first thought is obviously flowers. Like to make a flower crown type thing. Because I can add colors to it. So I don't know if I'll go with my first thought and do flowers. <laughs> or if I will try to find something unique to do. Hmm. We'll see. <laughs> That's exciting. I'm going to definitely do that. Uh, but yeah, I like my little junk. That's what you think. I'll leave Tara's channel link below, but I'll also leave Olive's website below where you can purchase her book. But I believe you can also get the patterns uh, individually. I can't remember if you can. But her book is amazing. I love all the patterns I've made in it. I've made like half or more from that book. And actually, when I made this, it reminded me how much I love her patterns. I make her patterns all the time. I just made her Yule Log Dog. And I downloaded, she had another one come out that's like a snowman coming out of a cup, like a hot chocolate. Uh, so that's definitely going to be on my to-make list. <laughs> uh, I love everything she comes out with. But it made me want to go back and make, because I never did get to make the, or never got around to making the seahorse. And I want to make that. But anyways, I think it turned out cute. I know Jean's going to like it. Um, and I'm looking forward to the headband. I have to come up with a good idea. My first thought is flowers because of these colors. But who knows? I'll look around and see. Get some inspiration from some pictures and stuff and uh, see what other people have done and then pull from that. That's usually what I try to do. <laughs> but anyways, uh, that's that's it for um, that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and insert just a little bit of vlogginess into this video because I haven't been vlogging. <laughs> so if you're not interested in that, you can go ahead and click off. Go check out Terry and Olive's website. And uh, for everybody who likes to hear me blab about everything, uh, stay on here. Yeah. <laughs> anyways. Today is uh, the 23rd, which is Christmas Eve Eve, uh, which means tomorrow is the 24th, which is crazy. <laughs> I can't believe how fast this year went by, but it is freezing cold here. That storm hit, and I know it hit pretty much half of the United States, um, but today our high was 9 degrees, but our feels like was negative 17, which is cold. We got a little tiny bit of snow, like half an inch. If that, <laughs> um, but it's like frozen. It was frozen snow now, and our roads are icy and stuff. And it is cold in here. Our apartment stayed pretty warm, like the living room and kitchen because we've been using it, you know. But like the bedrooms, because I keep them all closed off when we're not in them during the day, mostly to keep the baby out of them. And also, um, you know, just we don't need to heat these rooms that much if we're not in them. Uh, and I'm in here to record because everybody else is in the living room and it's cold in there. I'm freezing, but um, I keep in the heat on. <laughs> we had to. Uh, they were going to do, uh, what was it called? There's a name for it, but I can't remember now. But they were going to do, uh, like, timed power outages for everybody. It's supposed to be, like, 15 minutes every six hours, which wasn't wouldn't be that bad <laughs> to, I guess, save on electricity or something. I don't know. But they ended up canceling it, so I guess it wasn't that bad. Um, but we have today, we have kept everything off that we don't need on. Like, I didn't even have the Christmas tree plugged in today. Uh, and for the longest time, we didn't even have the TV on. We just were hanging in the living room hanging out in the living room. <laughs> the kids were playing and me and Dad was just messing with our phones, you know. So, uh, yeah. But anyways, so far power hasn't went out for us. Other areas in our county have had power outages, but that's mostly because um, I live out in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee. <laughs> um, an hour and a half from anywhere worth going to, pretty much. Um, and then the people who had power outages lived out in the even more out in the middle of nowhere. So it's like the dirt and gravel roads that have trees all over them. And it's been trees coming down, knocking out power lines and stuff. But yeah, so. Anyways, Devin made some potato soup, and it was delicious. And funny enough, his dad made potato soup today, too. Because <laughs> he sent, like, a picture to his dad, and then his dad was talking about it, but it's funny. But it was amazing. We used some leftover ham from um, Thanksgiving. And it, the last thing I left over ham from Thanksgiving. <laughs> 
and uh it was delicious and there's a whole lot left over so we'll be eating off that for a few days which is nice because <laughs> i don't have to worry about uh cooking you know uh, i will make some cinnamon roll waffles uh on christmas because i always make that for christmas i might actually because we gotta go to my in-laws early on christmas i might make that tomorrow christmas eve uh and it's they're super simple they're just you take cinnamon rolls the little ones and you put them in a waffle iron like all together kind of smush them together a little bit to make like a big piece of cinnamon roll <laughs> and then you cook them and they fluff up and everything and they're like waffle shaped cinnamon rolls and then you take the um little pack of not the cream cheese i get the original ones because i don't like the cream cheese faucet <laughs> but they're like the icing and you mix it with some milk and powdered sugar to make it more and it also makes it a little bit runnier and then you just use that as your syrup and it's delicious i make it every christmas <laughs> because it's just our tradition now to make those for christmas i usually make bacon too but bacon is expensive now so we're not gonna have bacon this year just just the waffles <laughs> but that's all right um yeah anyways i went to the thrift store the other day not the thrift store the antique store it's kind of like an antique store slash thrift store it's got a lot of antique stuff that i love and i love going there just looking at it all and uh, if we had a bigger house like with more shelves and cabinetry and stuff i would totally buy all of that stuff but i have nowhere to put anything cool and fragile so i did buy some things myself it came up to like 13 dollars i was the only one that bought anything no three of that so ten dollars three dollars was a little perfume bottle that jesse bought an antique perfume bottle he, he made like a potion in it and uh but yeah so i wanted to show you what i bought so first this was in plastic it was brand new to open by open day because i wanted to just look at it <laughs> But this is like a pack of paper uh, like stationary paper and it's got these pretty foil snowflakes on it and it's the whole pack it was wrapped you know up and it was a dollar fifty which i thought was pretty good for this pretty decorative paper i'm going to use this for junk journaling um i haven't got the junk journal in like two weeks so i'm super behind on that but i'll catch up eventually <laughs> so i got that they had another pack too which i'd got i'll have to go back after the holidays and see if it's still there <laughs> My favorite thing to look at for in, in that particular store, it's called um, Antique Treasures, I think. And it's set up, it's one of those where it's like a bunch of booths that people rent and then they sell their stuff out of it, you know. So a lot of it is antique, really cool stuff. Some of it is really not cool stuff because this is the South. So Southern antiques, some of them are racist. <laughs> so a lot of that, me and Devin's like looking at it and like, oh my God. <laughs> but um, luckily that stuff never seems to be bought though. It's been there every time we go there. So I guess that's good. But then some of them are like crafty booths and some of them are like stupid modern day stuff. I hate when antique stores have booths that are like boutique stuff. That just bugs me to death because it's an antique store. Anyways, I digress. Also from uh, the same booth that I got the paper, I found this little spool of ribbon. It was 25 cents and it's like, it's pretty old. <laughs> it was originally from Kmart. It had a Kmart sticker on it um, and it was $1.99 from Kmart. But it's like the papery kind. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. But I just thought it was such a cute print to also use for my junk journaling. <laughs> and it's like Christmas balls. I just thought it was cute. And since me and Jen have already talked about um, doing our Halloween and Christmas swaps next year, um, I was thinking about that when I was shopping because I was like, I could, you know, make go ahead and start making things for her <laughs> all through the year next year. Um, and, uh, you know, this was one of those things that came to mind. But anyways, and then there was another booth that had some of the little golden books which is what I made my journal with. And these are not like the rare ones. There are some that are rare and worth a lot of money. There's also a lot that aren't. These ones are each a dollar. And um, I don't feel bad for breaking them up and using them as journals because I would rather use it as a journal than it just sat on a shelf, never getting used, you know, or going into a landfill because a lot of books get thrown away. Uh, I've, I used to volunteer at a library and actually, you know, people drop off book donations and half of that got gotten rid of. Because, you know, it was either duplicates of what's in the library or just things that didn't, the, the library didn't keep. And they would try to sell them at, like, book fair or book sales. And if they didn't get sold, they usually tried to give them away for free. And then if no one took them for free, they would get tossed. So, um, it's better to use them as journals than to toss them. <laughs> anyway, so the two that I picked out was Peter Pan and Wendy. Because I love Peter Pan. That's one of my favorite Disney cartoons. I don't know what year this is from. The newest copyright on it is from 1952, but I don't know if that is just the Peter Pan copyright. That might be that, because uh, it doesn't look like a book from the 1950s. 
So, yeah. Yeah, the back thing doesn't have any. I don't know. But it's cute. And I like it. And it's just like the Peter Pan story, the original one. And when I do make a journal of this, I will use the paper, too. I use the pages, too, as part of the journal. So I thought that was just adorable. And then I got my favorite one. <laughs> my favorite Disney movie has always been Beauty and the Beast. And my favorite part in her outfit and all that is when they're outside playing in the snow. And I found a Beauty and the Beast that is that scene. <laughs> but it is just the regular Beauty and the Beast story. But it's got the winter scene on the front, which I love. Because that's like my... I love that outfit she's wearing. I've always wanted a cloak like that. <laughs> and I just love that part. It's so cute. You know, it's when they're falling in love. Uh, let's just forget about the part that he's a monster at that time. <laughs> it's just falling in love with a monster. But um, it's still... I love that part. And the birds. It's just so cute. I love it. And the roses around it. This is going to make a, such a pretty journal. <laughs> and I'm looking forward to it. I do hate that the Peter Pan one has the barcode on the front. See, I know that that's out from the 50s. Because the barcodes didn't even exist in the 50s. I think they started in like the 70s. But this is probably like the 80s or 90s. This one has a, <laughs> a description on it. It's from a Christmas. Uh, 1993. And it says from two-year-old class. So this is probably from like a daycare or a church or something. Uh, where they gifted each kid a little book or something. But I cannot wait to make this a journal. I'll probably do this one first before the Peter Pan one. Because I just, I love this. I love this book. It's so beautiful. <laughs> um... And then the last thing I got, I got this because I thought this was the whole thing. But when I got home, I found out that there's like a base that you also need. So I have to try to find that. And they don't sell it anymore. So I have to either find it like on eBay or just get lucky and find it. So I'm just going to save this. I'm going to put it up somewhere and save it so that I can use it eventually. But it's the Martha Stewart Crafts. And it is a doily punch cartilage. It's the cart cartridge. Cartridge. Am I saying that right? <laughs> For the main press thing. And it makes a snowflake shaped doily. I was so excited when I got this because I was like, I can make those for junk journals and Happy Mail and stuff. But you, you have to, see, this is what it came with. And then this part goes into a base and then you like stamp it down. And I don't know if there's a way I can use it without the base. Um, so I have to get the base to use this. If anyone has one that they don't want, I will gladly take it <laughs> or buy it from you. But it was $5 and I was super excited because I was like, oh, I can make snowflake doilies and decorate, you know. Instead of cutting out paper snowflakes, we could just press them out. <laughs> but um, I did not know that. After I did research when I got home, I was like, dang it. But I'm just going to save it. And um, I'm sure I'll get a hold of it. I've seen them on eBay. Uh, people sell them for like $20. Uh, so I might just have to try to buy one or something. I don't know. But there are different uh, packs of these that you can get with that's different shaped dollies, which I thought was pretty cool. But anyways, I'm still happy I got it because I can use it eventually. And then the next thing I'm going to blab about is the Christmas card my sister sent me. <laughs> uh, I do have more Christmas cards, but they're at the post office. I haven't went to pick them up, and I probably won't until after Christmas because of the weather. But I won't mind. I'll still love them. And they'll probably hang up for a long time because last year I left mine up until like February, I think. I just like looking at them. But uh, this is the one my sister gave me. And it's so cute because he looks vintage. So this will definitely be going in my drink journal at some point. I will probably still work on my Christmas drink journal all year. Because there's a lot of pages in it. I put a lot of paper in it. Um, so I'll, I'll just, I love Christmas. So I can just add to it throughout the year. And then um, have it, you know, to use whenever I want to. But I just thought that was so cute. So I had to share it with you guys. And then, uh, also I'm going to open up two of these. This is yesterday's and today's. Because I didn't do that. And then I have one more left for tomorrow. And then the bigger one on Sunday. So this first one is called Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. So I'm assuming this is going to be brown. And if it's a mixed one, it's probably going to be brown and red. Let me get the little thing on there. Ooh, so there's a little tag. I already took it off. And there's the image. Oh, also at that antique store, there was bins of stamps. <laughs> I wanted to get them so bad. But I don't really, I don't really need to. But I might go back and get some. Uh, and I'd have to get some ink pads. And I was kind of digging through them. And the, the little, the guy that runs the, um, antique store he owns it he, he kept walking past me because when we went in there it was empty and then like a few minutes later there was like, all kinds of people in there so he was walking around like you know talking to people and he kept he every time passed me he's like do you want a basket and i was like no i'm good and then i kept adding stuff to my pad <laughs> my stock and then after a while i was like i probably should have took a basket <laughs> i will next time okay so it's brown so far so is there another color in there oh there he is there is red <laughs> i wonder if there's anything beyond the red 
No, I still have a ton of her balls. That sounds weird. I still have a ton of her scrap balls. Um, uh, I had wanted to use them as I got them, and I did a pretty good job in the beginning of doing that, but just laugh, you know. So I have a whole bunch of them. I do have them separate right now from my other scrap balls, and I do plan on using them up. So I will use them. I just things went crazy. <laughs> All right, so the next one, today's is called Ugly Christmas Sweater. This is Merry Christmas. <laughs> what is tomorrow? Let's see, we don't have to go anywhere tomorrow unless we run to maybe the store if we need to get something. But I mean, it's Christmas Eve. I think we're going to let our, the kids open their presents tomorrow uh, from us, and then they can open the ones from Santa when he comes. Uh, and then we'll go over to my in-laws tomorrow, uh, Sunday morning. We did my family Christmas. We did it on Thursday because of the weather coming. And my sister lives after a really dangerous mountain spot that we all had to go through. <laughs> but um, we had a lot of fun. Ooh. It is the glitter one. I don't know if it's the same one I have. It looks like it. If it is, it's it's the I love the shine one uh, glitter, which is always perfect. You can always use that. Okay, so that is my. Um, Travels. Let me pull these envelopes up. Alright, so like I said, I haven't been able to cook too much except today. And I made that jellyfish. And I started working on another doll outfit for June. And it is the birthday one. It's the one that won the um, pole <laughs> that I, I ran, I guess. And I started it today. So this is Red Heart Super Saver Light Blue, I think is what it's called. Yeah. Because June's birthday is in January, which is like the peak of winter here. That's usually when we get our snow is like the end of January, early February. And her birthday is the 26th of January. So uh, for her birthday outfit, I'm making it blue. And all the the pink parts, if I can think I'll pop up a picture. I'm going to make white. And then the hat, I'm just going to be blue and white. And then I might get some snowflake buttons or something, felt pieces to glue on it. <laughs> Because her birth I'm going to take the winter theme and just run with it for years until she's old enough to choose her own theme. <laughs> and I hope she likes Frozen. Because uh, then we can do Frozen themed birthdays parties, which will be so cute. But her first one is going to be Winter Wonderland. She's not going to get this then. She's only going to be one. Um, she won't be getting these doll clothes until she's like two or three. Or older, <laughs> depending on her. You know, I have to see how she treats things. Because I don't want her tearing up the doll, you know. But I'm just going to take my time in the meantime making doll clothes. And then whenever I do give it to her, she'll have a whole horde <laughs> of doll clothes. I'd like to get one of those little closets. They have like little doll closets and little doll hangers and stuff. Um, and I might do that, you know, as time goes on. But that's how far I got. I'm on row nine. <laughs> and this particular pattern is calling for an H hook right now for the body of the dress. But the whole dress is blue until the bottom, I think. So I'm just working on that in between doing stuff. But yeah, I guess I blabbed enough because it's 23 minutes now and I got a few bits I have to edit out. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to get this up tonight. I don't even know what time it is. It's like 6 something or 7 something. And I'm hoping to maybe do the last two days of Vlogmas. <laughs> well, I might go ahead and do it the rest of the year too because I like doing vlogs. I would like to do them more often throughout the year if I can just do it. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and pick up all this stuff and I'll see you guys in the video hopefully tomorrow. <laughs> Bye guys.